The Tombow Fudano Suke hard tip versus soft tip. Which one's which? What's the difference? Which one's better for beginners? Which one should I get? I don't understand. Are they both small tip pens? Are they big tip pens? Are they black ink or is it blue and green ink? I'm lost. Hey, I'm Becca with The Happy Ever Crafter and in this video, I'm gonna break it all down for you. As a beginner brush letter, you're probably hearing everyone say that the Tombow Fudano Suke is the best beginner pen. But when you look it up, there's actually two different versions. And if you look even deeper, there's actually three. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what the difference is and why you would pick one or the other for yourself. Okay, first of all, the most important thing to understand about these pens is that they're both considered small tip pens. You'll understand as you start learning calligraphy that oftentimes you'll find workbooks that correspond to either small or large pens. That's the case with my workbooks specifically. So when, I, when I'm talking about that, I'm saying like my workbooks, I have two different versions. I have one scaled for big pens and I have one scaled for small pens. And so you need to know what the size of the tip on your pen is so that you can pick which size workbook you need. So for example, if you chose these pens, you would choose a small tip workbook. These are both small tip pens. Small tip pens are easier for beginners typically, so the short answer is that both of these would be good for beginners. If you can only find one, they're both good options. The next question is how to tell them apart. So if you buy Tombow Fudano Suke pens separately, sometimes they'll come in packaging like you're seeing here with all this Japanese writing on it, but sometimes they also come in Tombow's packaging from Tombow USA, which is in English writing, and sometimes they're paired together. So it's hard to tell them apart. If you get them in packages like this, blue is hard tip, green is soft tip. But if they come outside of the packages and you can only see them like this, you can still look at the color of the barrel on them to see the difference. So the, the hard tip is the navy blue one and the soft tip is the grayish green one. But the thing to remember is that both of these are black ink. Even though the barrel of them is a different color, the ink is black in both of these pens. There's also this one that has a gray tip and a black tip. And this is also a Fudano Suke pen, but we're not even gonna touch on this one today. These are the two that I would recommend for beginners. And this one's like a little bit of a specialty pen that's not really part of the conversation for today. So we're talking about the hard tip and the soft tip. And again, hard tip is blue, soft tip is green. The next question I often get is what this little blue template is. This comes in the package if you order the ones um, with the Japanese writing, the Japanese version of the Fudano Suke. And this is actually a template for writing Japanese kanji, which is one of the scripts in Japanese language. Now, if you don't write Japanese kanji, you could just use this as a template to keep yourself within guidelines. But oftentimes I end up just throwing this out because of course I don't know how to write in Japanese. Okay, so what's the difference between these two pens? This is where I'm actually gonna show you the writing and so you can see the difference. So these are brush pens and that means that they flex when you push on them. So you're gonna be able to get a thin line and a thick line out of the same pen. So first let's start with the Fudano Suke hard tip, the blue one. And we're gonna do a thin line and a thick line and I'm gonna do my, my thinnest thin and my thickest thick. Okay, so that's the variation you can get with the hard tip. Next, I'm gonna show you the difference with the soft tip and the look of the difference between the thin and the thick. So this is my thinnest thin with the soft tip, which you can already see is quite a bit thicker than the first one. And this is my thickest thick with the soft tip. So again, you can see a little bit of a differentiation between the two. So it's really not a huge difference. And truthfully, if you were a beginner, you probably would never even notice these things. But side by side, you can see the difference. Now I'm gonna show you the exact same alphabet using each of these pens. So again, first up with the Tombow Fudano Suke hard tip. All right, so there's the first part of an alphabet using the hard tip. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing, exact same size and everything with the, with the soft tip and you'll see the difference. So now you can see even though these are the exact same size alphabet, one looks a little bit heavier than the other. So again, it's a really slight difference, but it's definitely there. So what this really comes down to is that these are both, again, small tip pens and they're both really tiny little tips with black ink. You can see kind of the, the size difference in these two. The soft tip is a tiny bit bigger than the hard tip. This is soft, this is hard. But it really just comes down to the soft tip is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more flexible, which means that it's, it gives you a little bit of a thicker line. 
Okay, so now the question is, which of these should you choose for yourself? If you've never done this before, I'm gonna break it down. So first of all, these often come in two packs where you get one of each and they're both great. So if you have the option to buy the two pack, go ahead and get both and then you can try them both and see which you prefer. I actually really like them both. But if you can't get both, here's my recommendation. If you're heavy handed and you press really hard or tend to have a death grip, that's me, get the hard tip because it can take a bit more of a beating and since you already press really hard, you're gonna be fine with getting thick downstrokes. But if you're light-handed, get the soft version because often light-handed people have a hard time pushing hard enough to get a nice thick downstroke and this will make that easier for you because it's kind of built into the pen. So if you're heavy-handed, get the hard tip. If you're light-handed, get the soft tip. But again, both are great for beginners. So if you can only find one or the other, don't even question it, grab whichever one you can get. All right, I hope that answered your food or no suke questions. Now tell me in the comments, are there other pens that you have questions about? Seriously, tell me because I will make more videos and give you more tips like this in the future. In the meantime, I'm gonna link you to my next video, which actually shows how to use these brush pens and I'll see you over there.